Hello and welcome back to Unapologetically Rastakiri, festive edition. It's almost Christmas everybody and today I will be unboxing the 2022 Nespresso Pierhem Advent Calendar. There are 25 capsules inside this Advent Calendar and the capsules are the original capsules which means they are not suitable for the Virtuo Next machine. It's suitable for machines like the Ascensa Mini series. So this is the beautiful packaging that the advent calendar is for this year, 2022. And it has a gold finish. There's hints of gold against this beautiful blue backdrop. So there's an espresso logo over here, big and bold. Nespresso, Pia Him, Paris. Okay, let's get down to it. So with a top-down view, once the camera zooms in from the top down, you will see that here is the Nespresso logo again, and the PH, that interlock, stands for the peer him so this is a box and there's little pocket flaps that you can open with your fingernails from days one all the way up to 25 so actually if I remove this out of the box you will notice that it actually opens up. So day one is over here and it goes asynchronously to one, six, nine, 10, 12, 15. So the numbers are not in numerical order on the first part of this maneuverable box. Numbers two all the way up to 23 is on the second part of this advent calendar and oddly enough number 4 and 11 and 24 is on the last tier of this advent calendar so i absolutely love this packaging there are three tiers in this advent calendar which kind of makes it look like a descending or ascending staircase whichever way you want to look at it so over here it says on day 24, celebrate with indulgence. Celebre avec gourmandise, pierre him. So, it's kind of intriguing that this last pocket flap is larger than the other pocket flaps. So I wonder what capsule is inside this pocket flap over here. But we are going to explore that together. So I'm going to open pocket flap number one. My face says Master Origins. Origine de Maître, Colombia. So, this is the Colombia coffee capsule. So, I'm going to taste test it now. Let's put this away. Okay. Placing it right in. Placing it right in over here, crushing it, choosing the Grand Lungo option. So this particular coffee, the Colombian coffee capsule, is made out of late harvest Arabica beans and it has hints of fruitiness, I believe. So I'm interested to actually taste whether I can get fruit flavors in this coffee that I will be making. You can see the layered look with the light cream to the brown. I like having that layered look with my coffee, which is why I use this transparent glass coffee cup. So now I'm going to add my milk and decant my milk. All my sugar. A 
apologies to the cameraman for the sugar almost hitting the precious camera. I'm the kind of girl that needs two. sugars putting lots of sugar will even out the bitterness of the coffee I'm gonna stir it slowly with the advent calendar to my nails it's all festive vibes this Christmas season Bottoms up. I can tell that the coffee beans have been roasted. The roasting is probably not as intense, actually kind of mild. Haven't been able to taste the fruity undertones, but the bitterness of this coffee is definitely there. So my overall impression of the Colombian coffee is that it has acidity and it has bitterness, but the bitterness is mild. On the scale of one to 13, the bitterness that is ranked by Nespresso of this particular coffee capsule is three. Compared to other coffee capsules that I have tasted from the original range, specifically from the Esperanzio range, compared to this Colombian coffee. I would say that I'm not a fan favorite of this particular coffee capsule. So this particular coffee is more on the bitter acidic side, although it is mild, and I would much prefer flavors to hit me instantaneously as soon as I taste the coffee. And this doesn't cut it for me, so I can't taste the fruity notes that this Colombian coffee capsule was supposed to have as soon as you taste it. So I'm a little disappointed with this particular coffee. It's okay. In terms of rating it as a favorite of mine on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this coffee a solid 5. So it's halfway there for me in terms of flavor, but it lacks the necessary creaminess that I would love to taste in coffee. The flavors that I usually go for when tasting Nespresso coffee and having it on a day-to-day -day basis is something that is sweet and that has honey, creaminess and richness. So one of my favorite coffee capsules of all time is a Nicaraguya coffee that has a honey center as soon as you taste it, as soon as it enters your throat, it just hits you with that sweet honey texture. Another personal favorite of mine is the Buno Arias Lungo. And I would say that, it, that that is more um, mild and less bitter compared to this. It is more harmonious and it's sweet. Cereal texture is always a winner. I want to thank you all for watching this video and I would like to share the rest of my PAM 2022 advent calendar journey on my Instagram stories. My Instagram handle is at it's Rasa Kelly. That's at I-T-S-R-A-S-A-K-E-L-I. And I will be posting the last few coffee capsules in the advent calendar, my taste tasting journey right up to Christmas and thank you all for being here and don't forget to leave a big old thumbs up for this video ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any uploading notifications hit the subscribe button now if you would like to see more uploads from unapologetically Russ Kelly if you adore this channel of course thank you for being here and I will see you in the next video thank you Mwah.